welcome back. Welcome to the gross light of the garage. <laughs> uh, you'll see behind me, that is my greenhouse. We're, I can't even get out of the way. We're experimenting with raising tomato hornworms. Yes, I'm well aware of the damage they're doing in my garden, but I'm having so much fun with the monarchs that when my mom suggested, well, maybe we should grow up some hornworms. I was like, well, okay. And so far the consensus is that they stink and they eat a lot. <laughs> uh, but that's not really the purpose of this video. I decided to shoot this video because I am going out on a limb and I'm gonna start a few things for fall. It is September 21st right now. It's 70 degrees, which is like the first cooler day that I've had here in Northeast Kansas for weeks. So at this point, I'm like, well, if I try to start a fall garden and it doesn't work out, hopefully I'll be able to learn some lessons now that I can go ahead and take with me in, you know, February, March, April, when I actually want to start seeds for the summer garden. So that's what we're here for. Um, let me show you what I'm working with real quick. Over here, we're gonna use these six by six trays, which I obviously used really heavy uh, potting soil that made mud the last time I used these, but all about reusing here at this garden household. So I'm just gonna put dirt in these, the stuff, the eco earth stuff that I mixed up. And then we're gonna see what kind of seeds. I'm thinking some lettuce, I'm thinking some spinach. We'll see what else we have that might be fall garden. Um, I decided not to do all of those that I had out. I left some in the middle to keep them separated. If this goes well and I decide that I want more, I can always sow some more after these sprout. Ooh, I got broccoli. I should probably try some broccoli. Hmm. So now, if I'm gonna try all these different things, then I gotta tag them. Guess we're tagging. <laughs> okay, I got dirt in my shoe. Well, what do I normally tag with? I used popsicle sticks, which are not the best. Honestly, I haven't found a best way to tag things. So if you have the best way to tag something that is not like this, that absorbs moisture and is not like the little plastic tags that wash off, drop that in the comments because I'm interested in trying a new way. But look, I found a broccoli. That's good. I also found a spinach. Bell pepper, we don't need that. I don't really have a plan other than I want to try to grow something. Um, broccoli seeds are so tiny. I think I'm putting about three per cell. Uh oh, I dropped one. Maybe I could just sprinkle some salad mix. I dropped some. I'm gonna have some salad in my garage growing. You watch me. I'm just going to kind of press on these little lettuce seeds a little. can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of tapping to make sure that they get good contact. And I think I might sprinkle a little bit more on top. I should probably label that. What do you guys think? I'll regret it if I don't. Salad mix. Those two. Okay. 
So small, but hopefully mighty. So I'm gonna set this up in my greenhouse, check the temperature, and then I'm probably gonna hold on to this clip until I have things that are sprouted so that it can be a more eventful vlog for you guys. But before seeds germinate, they don't need light. Once they germinate, I have this light. But until they germinate, they like the dark. So I'm gonna keep that off. And now we wait. It's Thursday, September 23rd, and I am impatient. So <laughs> I always watch the seeds every day to see if they've sprouted. And uh, let's go look. Can y'all believe that? In just two days, I have radishes, broccoli, and lettuce. I might have found my, uh, my sweet spot. My sweet spot for starting seeds. <sighs> Saving this clip until we have bigger plants. This is the starting mix that I referenced, um, eco-friendly. I just added a gallon of water and then I added two solo cups of play sand and within two days I got sprouts. So definitely need to remember that. Uh, <laughs> I am kind of shocked, kind of thrilled. Um, kind of excited. Fall garden, here I come. And I'll check back with you in like a couple days. We'll see how big they get. Hello, it's Saturday, September 25th. Time to check on my seed sprouts and see if anything sprouted. Can y'all even believe it? Can you believe I got sprouts. Spinach even. I don't see any basil or cilantro yet. But everything else, uh, maybe no beets, but I do have radishes, spinach, salad, lettuce. I'm shocked. I did it. Now let's see if we can get some of those to maturity to actually eat them. I'm actually gonna wait to record more until it's been a week since I um, started those seeds just to round out the uh, vlog. So, saving this clip too. Hello, today is September 29th. Yesterday was actually a week since I planted seeds for a fall garden or an attempt. You guys aren't gonna believe this, or maybe you will, but I don't believe it, so let's take a look. Look at all the things. The broccoli went a little leggy. Might have to replant that. The salad looks great. The spinach looks great. Radishes are looking good. Beets are looking okay. No basil, cilantro, or kale. But overall, I'm pretty excited about this. So my next step is going to be to build a row cover for at least one of my beds. Um, right now I have the bed that has um, trellises that is empty. So I'm going to go to the big box store this weekend and I'm going to get some rebar or some stakes of some kind. And we have some leftover pecs from installing a shower a couple years ago. Um, and I'm going to get some spun weed fabric that's like the, the light color, like white, and um, 
I'm gonna plant this stuff this weekend and hopefully it'll not be 90 degrees um, after this weekend, but that's the plan. I don't know. I was not expecting to get it right because I tried five, six, seven times at the beginning of the spring this year and it didn't go well. I didn't get a single plant from any of the seeds I started. So hopefully this means that I've learned from my mistakes and the spring garden for next year will be a-okay. But now I'm going to take you to my backyard at my one singular little plant that's in the backyard bed because it's got a new infestation and uh, I need y'all to see it to end this video. So let's go back there. Okay, I'm in the backyard. I'm going to flip the camera around so that you can see my eggplant. Ta-da! The flea beetles didn't completely demolish it for the final time, but look at this. Google says these are lace beetles and that they will take out the plant. So um, these are flea beetles. What we're gonna do, I got some water and some neem oil and some castle soap. And, uh, oh, we don't wanna squirt it like that. Let's squirt it in a, there we go squirt some of this on here. Maybe on the underside too. Nope, oh, scared a cricket. Might have gotten it. Okay, let me finish squirting this and then I'll come back in just a minute. I completely walked through a spider web. <laughs> okay, um, gave it a good spray. Uh, went underneath and sprayed the underneath sides as well. I tried not to get too heavy on the spray on any one particular spot. Um, flip that down. Uh, so there might be a couple of eggplants in my future, depending on the weather. I got this one and that one. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. I will keep that spray bottle back here and come out every evening and spray it. I might come out in the morning and spray it. Is it moving? Oh no, it's dead. Oh, wow. That was cool. Not that I wish death on anything, but just spraying that and it's done. Oh, now I feel bad. I might've killed a spider. <laughs> well, I guess it shouldn't have been on my plants, should it? Okay. Well, marigolds to the outro. That was a very painful week for me, <laughs> having to wait and check every day or every other day and make sure that I had something to show you guys. I'm jealous. I'm jealous that you get to see it all right now or you just saw it all. Thanks for watching. You'll see me next time.